dear students last class uh, we discussed about sum of two random uh, independent random variables we and we found the mean as well as the variance of uh, z is equal to x plus y so today we will discuss a problem based on that uh, let x and y be exponentially distributed random variables with its probability density function fx of x is equal to lambda e power minus lambda x uh, whenever x greater than or equal to 0 and 0 whenever x is less than 0 here lambda is a parameter and z is the sum of two independent random variable here we need to find the mean variance probability density function and the characteristic function so we start with the solution uh, we know we found yesterday the mean value of z we know that mean value of z is equal to mean value of x plus mean value of y and also we found the mean of a exponential random variable and we got 1 by lambda in the previous model 1 by lambda plus this is also 1 by lambda if you add these two 1 by lambda plus 1 by lambda this is equal to 2 by lambda similarly we can find the variance a variance of z is given by variance of x square plus variance of y square this also we found yesterday this is equal to and the variance of, variance of uh, a single random variable we found in the previous chapter that is 1 by lambda square plus 1 by lambda square so which is equal to 2 by lambda square next we find the probability density function last class we discussed about the probability density function of sum of two independent random variable and we found f z of z is equal to integration from minus infinity to plus infinity f x of x into f y of z minus x into dx now we have to identify the interval where the function exists so here f of fx of x is equal to lambda into e power minus lambda x whenever 0 less than or equal to x less than infinity and what about f of z minus x so f y of z minus x should be lambda into e power minus lambda of z minus x this is whenever 0 less than or equal to z minus x less than infinity yes therefore when z minus x is more than 0 and less than infinity this we can write as that is 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to z and less than infinity now we have to identify the interval where the two functions overlaps where these two functions overlaps to identify for example you know one interval for example you can write one interval here like this Sub another interval you can write this way now we wanted to identify the part you definitely you can see that this is the part where the two function coincides so how to identify so one way is we have to take maximum of these two values and then minimum of these two values that is the one way another way is you can plot the graphs both the graphs in xy plane then you can identify the same now if you see these two intervals here minimum is 0 here also minimum is 0 therefore this interval lower limit should be 0 next if you want to take the minimum of these two values that means minimum of infinity and z then the upper limit should be z therefore we can write fz of z is equal to fz of z is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity becomes 0 to z 
then f x of x what is f x of x lambda e power minus lambda x and what about this function lambda e power minus lambda of z minus x into dx there uh, from the previous step we got integration from 0 to z lambda into lambda will be lambda square then e power minus lambda x this is uh, e power minus lambda into z minus x that we can write as e power minus lambda x into e power plus lambda x into dx now these two get cancels so we will find lambda square e power e power lambda z into minus lambda z e power minus lambda z into dz e power minus lambda z into dz therefore this is equal to lambda square e power minus z into integration of dx is x between the limits 0 to z therefore this will be equal to if you substitute the upper limit z here you will get lambda square e power minus z lam minus lambda z into z now if you substitute the lower limit you will get 0 therefore therefore f z of z is equal to the probability density function of z is equal to lambda square into z into e power minus lambda z e power minus lambda z whenever z greater than or equal to 0 and this is 0 whenever z is less than 0 z is less than 0 now we will find the characteristic function of z we know that The characteristic characteristic function is given by phi z omega, which is equal to phi x of omega into phi y of omega. And already we found in the single in the previous chapter, while we were discussing exponent a characteristic function of exponential distribution in single random variable, we found that this is equal to one lambda divided by lambda minus i omega this is also lambda divided by lambda minus i omega therefore if you multiply these two you will get lambda square divided by lambda minus i omega into lambda minus i omega is whole square so this is the characteristic function of the sum of two independent random variable which follows uh, uh, exponential distribution Yes. Now we move to the second problem. Suppose z is sum of two independent random variable which follows the uh, uniform distribution. Once again we have to determine mean variance and probability density function of z. So solution we know that mu x is equal to a plus b divided by 2. So this is the mean value of a uniform distribution of a random variable which follows uniform distribution so what is a here a is 0 b is 1 therefore mu x is equal to 1 by 2 similarly we can find mu y so mu y y also following the same distribution therefore mu y is equal to 1 by 2 and therefore what is mu z mu z is the sum of mu x and mu y therefore mu z is equal to mu x plus mean value of y mu y which is equal to 1 by 2 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 so next we find variance of z so before we find variance of z we should recall that sigma x square that means a variance of a random variable which follows a I mean a uniform distribution is b minus a whole square divided by 12 therefore this is equal to what is b b is 1 a is 0 therefore 1 minus 0 is 1 1 by 12 similarly sigma y square is also is equal to 1 by 12 now we find variance of z square what is variance of z square variance of 
variance of x sorry variance of z is equal to what variance of x plus variance of y which is equal to what is variance of x 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12 therefore this is equal to 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12 12 is 1 by 6 so we therefore we find mu z mean value of z is equal to 1 and variance of z is equal to 1 by 6 next we find the probability density function once again to find the probability density function you know the formula we used in the previous problem so now I will just find out what is fx of x and fx of z minus x what is fx of x fx of x is equal to 1 whenever 0 less than x less than 1 and what is fy of z minus x fy of z minus x is equal to also 1 whenever 0 less than z minus x less than 1 and 0 otherwise therefore we can write this interval as this one as r z minus 1 less than x less than z now as we did in the previous problem so we have to take the minimum of uh, 0 and z minus 1 sorry maximum of 0 and z minus 1 and minimum of 1 by z but here w varies from 0 to 2 as x and y varies from uh, 0 to 1 y is also varies from 0 to 1 therefore x plus y is 2 w varies from 0 to 2 w is not varies from 0 to 1 it varies from 0 to 2 therefore we need to consider two cases case 1 case 1 if w varies from varies from if w varies from 0 to 1 then what should be the lower limit then the lower limit is maximum of 0 it's not w this is actually z if z varies from 0 to 1 then what is the maximum of 0 comma z minus 1 the maximum of 0 comma z minus 1 is 0 then the lower limit is 0, zero. now what about the minimum of 1 comma z the minimum of 1 comma z is definitely will be going to z because z varies from 0 to 1 because z can take any values between 0 to 1 so this is a fixed value therefore the that value definitely depends on z therefore upper limit is what is that z upper limit is z here in this case therefore fz of z is equal to integration from lower limit is 0 upper limit is z fx of x is 1 and fy of z minus x is also 1 so 1 into 1 is 1 into dx this is equal to integration of dx is x between the limit 0 to z and this is equal to z this is in case 1 when uh, when it is uh, which case actually it is the case when z varies from 0 to 1 now we move to the case 2 what is the case 2 case 2 is z varies from z varies from 1 to 2 now we have to identify the lower limit then the lower limit is the lower limit is how to find the lower limit we have to find the maximum of 0 z minus 1 keeping in mind that z varies from 1 to 2 definitely the maximum of 0 comma z minus 1 depends on z therefore the lower limit is z minus 1 because z varies from 1 to 2 so this is the maximum depending on z you will get the maximum so therefore you should write z minus 1 z is the variable what is the upper limit the upper limit is the upper limit is minimum of 1 comma z what is minimum of 1 comma z when z varies from 1 to 2 so definitely when z starts from 1 to 2 minimum is 1 only therefore 
upper limit is 1. Now we can find fz of z using these limits which is equal to z minus 1 to upper limit is 1 into once again this is dx which is equal to integration of dx is x between the limits z minus 1 to upper limit 1. Now if you substitute the upper and lower limit, upper limit is 1 minus of z minus 1. So minus of z minus z minus into minus plus 1. This will be 1 plus 1, 2 minus z. Therefore, therefore, f z of z should be equal to what is that? We got z whenever z varies from 0 to 1 and it is 2 minus z whenever z varies from 1 to 2 and it is 0 otherwise and it is 0 otherwise this is about the probability density function of f of z